Hey everyone, it's the Four Gun Guy, and today I wanted to talk to you about case trimming. Now, this is like a lot of my other journeys where I bought, you know, the, the initial piece of equipment, and then I realized that it just wasn't doing what I really needed it to do, and so I moved on to a, uh, a better piece. So today I want to talk to you about the two case trimmers that I have and that I've used, and the one that I'm using now. So if you're ready to go, let's get started. Well, when I first started reloading, uh, I went the manual method. And the manual method was the Ellie Wilson case trimmer. Now, this served me really well for quite a long time. Uh, it's got a built-in micrometer here. And basically, all you're doing is you're adjusting this uh, micrometer. Here's the cutting head here. And then you've got a manual crank here that once you put the case into a, a, a bushing, uh, here you place it in here and you manually trim the case now as I said this worked pretty good But I'll tell you some of the pitfalls of it one big pitfall was <clears throat> this never seemed to stay locked down It was either this little little Screw here that screws down into it or even this micrometer moving a little bit But I was never really really consistent. So my my trimmings were uh, it may start consistent, right? But then all of a sudden in about 20 or 30 cases, I would notice that it would get, the cases were getting, uh, what, longer because this was giving, giving way. And so that was, that's what was happening. So I never really got the consistency. Now, a buddy of mine told me about the Gerard, uh, or Giro, I think is how it's really pronounced, uh, case trimmer. So I thought I'd give that a try and so far I've been very happy with this. Now this is the uh, Just his normal case trimmer. It's made right here in the United States. So that's nice uh, It's not cheap, but it's very well built and the thing I like about this is it, it actually puts a chamfer uh, So it, it trims the case then it chamfers the inside and the outside of the neck and I can tell you that all the cases that I use with this thing, they're all exactly the same length. So it's really, really good in that respect. Some things that you might find with this uh, trimmer are, as you use it, it, it's pretty easy to set up. It's not that difficult. There's a, there's a locking nut here. And basically you get the right insert for the case you're going to trim. I'm trimming 6BRA. And once you do a couple test trims on it, you'll, you'll get that down. And then the cutting head actually rotates inside this cylinder here. And as it does that, it's, as I said, it's, uh, it's putting a, a bevel, an angle on both the inside and the outside of the case neck. Now, you would think, and it's true, that if for some reason the case is shorter, it's going to try to put that bevel on the inside and outside, but it might not always work. So what you're going to do is, as you feed this in, you'll feel whether this is really getting down to the cutting head or not. And if it doesn't, then I just have another batch over here that I, I throw those in. And when I'm done, I use my... Uh, 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 what is it, uh, Frankfurt Arsenal case prep uh, machine. And so out of 100 or 150 cases that I do at a time, I may have 20 or 30 that aren't long enough. Uh, but then after the next firing, they generally become long enough that I can use uh, on the Gerard uh, Giro case trimmer. So there it is. Uh, I thought what I'd do is let, let's kind of show it in action a little bit just so you get an idea of how how quickly this really does uh, do the job. And then we'll just move on to some final thoughts. I'm just gonna use the phone for this one. So here we go. You can see that it's spinning inside here. And then I just take the case, bring it in. You can hear it, grind it, hear it, and I take it out. Another one. Let's 
see this one didn't didn't really uh, get trimmed. This one did. Now let's do one more. There we go. I know this one did. Cool. And now let's bring these over here. And I just want to show you what this looks like underneath here. You can see it's got a nice chamfer on it. And so it really does a good job both inside and out. And now the one that didn't go all the way, this was the short one here, but you can still see that it did put, did put the chamfer on it. Now if you look over on this other side, you'll see like right here, it didn't get it. So this is one that I would throw in that in that not quite done uh, bin, and then I'd, I'd just redo that uh, on the uh, Frankfurt Arsenal case trimmer. Well, there you go, pretty short one today. Let's talk about just a couple other differences here. Now, the uh, Ellie Wilson case trimmer here with the stand, with the micrometer, with all that stuff, it's gonna set you back about 300 bucks. It really is. Uh, I really like the way this turned out. This, this stand is pretty cool, and I actually bought this from my buddy Jeff, who you hear me talk about all the time. But I got this from him when he moved up to, I think he uses the Giro, and now he might be using something else. Uh, the Giro is about 550, so there is a, there is a difference here. But I'm gonna tell you, from the time saving of having to place the case in this, tamp it down, put it in here, lock it down, do that. The, the time saving here is substantial. I mean, I will tell you that. The other thing I, I never did really like about this manual one was when you need to get the case out of this, this uh, uh, I can't remember what they call these things, but it's it's this bracket or whatever it is. You, you kind of have to kind of tamp it down a little bit. I never liked the idea of doing that because now I'm screwing around with the with the mouth uh, itself. So look, this is a good option if you don't want to spend the money and you're okay doing it manually. This Ellie Wilson is a really good case trimmer, and there are others out there. Do your research. There are others that are less than this. There are other motorized options that I think are less than the Giro. And then there are some up, some options that are up near a thousand bucks to trim your cases. I didn't feel that I needed to spend a thousand dollars to trim my case. So that's why this is about as high as I'm gonna go. And you saw how fast this thing works. I can do 150 cases in 10 minutes. Uh, it's really that quick once you get it set up properly. So there you have it. We talked about case trimming. I gave you two options, the manual option with the Ellie Wilson and the uh, more automated option with the uh, Giro. One other thing I wanna tell you about with the manual option is you will still then need to run your cases through your case prep station. So like that, uh, the one that I use, you're going to chamfer, deburr, uh, so you're still going to have to run those through if you use this manual option, whereas this one, the Giro, probably takes care of 90% of the cases that you're going to run through it. You may have to run those 10% through your uh, case trimming uh, or your case prep station anyway, but it's a lot less than the manual. So there you have it, short and sweet. I'm going to try to keep some videos short for you and then some longer ones coming up. Uh, I've got some videos coming up on a night vision optic that was sent to me by a company. Uh, I'm gonna, we're going to talk a little bit more about wind. I'm going to revisit the whole reading wind. Uh, I feel that I've gotten better at that uh, over these last year, this last year or two. And then I've got some uh, other optics that I'm going to present to you and some surprising results uh, from the review of those optics. So anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. And until next time, shoot straight.